Now here in the Bay Area, people are enjoying live music at Armature Works in Tampa and First Night in St. Pete. There is music, food, entertainment, and of course, they will soon get fireworks. As you can see there in Armature Works, what a crowd of people, and of course the music pumping right there at First Night in St. Pete. With these pictures full of people gathering this New Year's Eve, you never know we are ringing in another year in the midst of a nasty battle with COVID-19. This is Nightside. I am Carolina Lee. Florida shattered record daily cases again yesterday, reporting nearly 76,000 cases. It's the fourth day in a row we've broken a record. This time, nearly 18,000 cases more than the last. Nearly all of Florida's counties are in that red zone, which means high transmission, and it's a sentiment shared with the rest of the U.S., also covered in red tonight. Doctors have been warning about Omicron for weeks as cases rapidly grow during the holidays. But as Miranda Parnell explains, doctors say it's not too late to turn things around. It's finally New Year's Eve, and when it comes to celebrations and Omicron, the message has been pretty consistent over the last week. Stay with the people you're usually exposed to. Avoid densely populated indoor public areas. Get those tests. Many people are taking that advice and celebrating accordingly, but not everyone. I think we need to be really careful in the next few weeks because it's going to spike really high, but relatively fast. If we can prevent ourselves from getting infected within these next four weeks or so, I think we'll have a chance of blunting how bad it's going to get. And when it comes to case counts, just look at how bad it is now. This graph shows a weekly case count from about a month ago, just under 11,000 cases that week. Our latest week, just under 300,000 cases. We broke multiple single day case count records this week. Those who don't really care, then it's going to be a problem. It's, the, the spike is going to uh, increase. You know, right now, what are we? We were higher than we've ever been during this pandemic in terms of cases. Whether you're in or you're out celebrating, most of us want the same thing. It's just a matter of doing what it takes to make that happen. 2021 was a struggle like anybody else. We all had a rough year. Um, just trying to get by, get through things, and, uh, and hope for a better 2022. So if you did decide to go out and celebrate in a crowd or with people whose vaccination status you may not know, Dr. Tang advises that you go ahead and schedule a test for COVID-19 and operate as if you are positive until you get a negative result. 